What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Movie Emporium's Amazon Prime Original Review of I Want You Back. This film is directed by Jason Orley. Now before we begin, if you like this channel, awesome, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium, hit that notification bell, top the phone is coming next. If you like any of these videos, awesome, hit that like button as well as comedy below any of you watch, including this one. So I Want You Back is a new kind of romantic comedy that of course premieres on Valentine's Day. It's gonna premiere on Amazon Prime. It's about two individuals named of course Pete and of course Emma who are played by Charlie Day and Jenny Slate. And they are recently dumped by their, you know, their significant other. So Noah is, of course, dating Emma, which, of course, is played by Scott Eastwood. And then we have Anne, who, of course, is played by Jenna Rodriguez, who dumps Charlie Day's character, P. And so what this movie ends up becoming is the two couples that get dumped, their significant other or their exes find someone else in the ether, two different characters. And Jenny Slade's character and, of course, Charlie Day's character decide, after meeting up just kind of out of the blue, somehow work in the same building that they're going to find a way to get their exes back together with them by breaking up with the other significant other. So it becomes kind of a, you know, how do we get back what we can't have anymore and how do we do it in a kind of evilish, devilish way. And so here we have a romantic comedy. It's premiering on Amazon Prime. It's a movie that's premiering on Valentine's Day. So in essence, this is a film that if you've seen the trailer, you know it's going to lead down a certain path. You know it's going to have a certain type of substance and style. And you know it's going to have characters that do what you expect them to do by the end of the movie. Now, the question honestly remains, even though the trailer is fine, it looks, you know, like a typical Valentine's Day movie. Does this movie at least keep you entertained? And does it do anything of difference from everything else you've seen in this genre? No, it doesn't. To be fairly honest, this is a movie that is very serviceable, I guess you could say say it does exactly what you expect it to do it goes exactly to places that you expect it to go to so there's nothing new about this movie there's no mold breaking it's two individuals that have had their hearts broken decide to do something in a very despicable way which is you know get into the lives of each other's you know exes and stuff like that to try and break them up to come back but it's a movie that just really doesn't do anything to break the mold in any form or fashion so it's a very atypical style movie but with that said because there's so many of these types of movies out there you know you kind of have to go in with some expectations that are very lowered so therefore i found the movie very entertaining i found it you know interesting i like the characters i think well written for what they are they're very atypical stereotype characters but i think jenny slate and charlie day have some kind of interesting chemistry that actually kind of works in some weird way you know charlie day has always been playing one of those characters like in it's always sunny in philadelphia and horrible bosses where he's very like a manic and he just looks like he's like a uh, tweak from South Park where he's just drinking a lot of coffee all the time. He's like, you know, very uh, looking at the boards and doing conspiracy theory type of things. Here he's more reserved. He, yes, he has moments where he is Charlie Day. And I don't think he's ever gonna be able to get rid of that stereotype, but I think he does at least a comparable job of trying to mellow down his character to kind of give you that really kind of interesting, intriguing, romantic interest that's very off kilt. I guess you could say. And it's the same thing with Jenny Slate. She does have some issues that is just, I don't think her talents are used as well here. She feels more of like a, a sad sap, I guess you could say. And I never really feel that from Jenny Slate and how she should be. But you have to have someone be like that. And you have to someone have someone be like Charlie Day. And then, like I said, Scott Eastwood's character, he's having fun, but he's Scott Eastwood. He just doesn't really have a lot of charisma to him. He's just more of a, an attractive looking guy, which was what people want, especially the ladies and stuff like that. And I think, uh, Gina Rodriguez is the most underutilized character. I don't think she's very interesting or intriguing. She just doesn't add much to this movie. And it's the same thing with some other characters that pop up that are just like, I guess, whatever. You use some R-rated raunchy stuff in this movie and you have what you have. But I never felt like I was bored by the movie. The only other issue is there's no real funny moments in this movie outside of a couple segments. Um, so I wasn't, there was like no real laughter in the theater, which is a truly a big problem when it comes to a romantic comedy like this. You're always going to have those moments that are outrageous and zany and people will laugh but then there should be other moments where people chuckle and have fun and you know go oh that's so sweet and then the story but none of that was really happening which makes me wonder if this movie is going to be even interested for a lot of people to watch they're going to see it probably on amazon prime go you know let's check this out and probably just be like forget about it <laughs> like three hours later after they get finished watching it so in the end it's just a very serviceable movie it does exactly what you expect there's nothing real standout by the director and it just kind of 
it does what it does and that's all it, <laughs> that's all it's always trying to be it's not trying to be anything new or inventive so i think overall i think like i said in my tweet that i put out that it's a very serviceable movie it does what it does but it's not gonna break the mold of any sort so overall not a terrible movie but nothing too exciting not a top 10 or top 10 worse or all that good stuff so uh but with that said that is gonna be my take on this film which is i want you back so there you go thank you so much for watching comments below are you interested in seeing this movie like i said this is a couple weeks early before the movie actually comes out with this review um are you interested in seeing it have you seen it what do you think of it overall all that good stuff otherwise if you like what you see on this video hit the subscribe button to join movie emporium hit that notification bell top the phone is coming next if you like any of these videos awesome hit that like button and uh we'll see you guys on the next video peace out